Back Forest Vale Cemetery will be officially unveiling their new entrance this Saturday at 11 a.m. with a public ribbon cutting. Crews were finishing up the final touches on the new entrance Friday morning. Forest Vale Cemetery received its first burial in 1890 and now contains over 15,000 burials. The historic cemetery is the final resting place of many notable Montanans, including Governor Tim Babcock and First Lady Betty, Archie Bray and Myrna Loy. Forest Vale manager Deborah Kreider says that the new entrance is a great way to update the cemetery while honoring the past. The old entrance was made in 1890, was really designed for horse and buggy. Only one car can come in and out, and the new entrance will allow people to come and go without waiting for other people. At the ribbon cutting ceremony, historian Ellen Baumler will be giving a short presentation about the cemetery and self-guided tours and refreshments will be available. Well, after almost four months, traffic has been restored to two lanes in both directions of I-15 by Jefferson City. In mid-May, heavy spring rain combined with snowmelt washed out the large culvert structure that carried Prickly Pear Creek underneath the interstate. Emergency construction was started shortly after to restore partial traffic to the interstate section. Bullet Contracting of Boulder won the contract and construction to replace the culvert began the week of July 23rd. The total amount of the project cost just over $1 million. All right, Curtis is here now with a look at what's coming up next in the forecast. Well, Florence is a killer. Five people at least have lost their lives.